You may know Macy McLean in her performance as Rachel Joy Scott in the feature film, I'm Not Ashamed, the true story of Rachel Joy Scott at Columbine High School, and currently as Ashley Baxter in the series, The Baxters, a prequel. So Macy, thank you for joining me. Can you talk about your upcoming role in the Baxter series? Yes. Um, so we have already filmed so much content for the Baxters. It is a family. It's about a family that you will feel like is your family. Like you will feel like they are so real. Um, they all have their different stories, all the brothers and sisters and the parents and um, all really bound by love. And it is just, you go on some crazy adventures and some crazy wild rides with these characters. But um, ultimately they all are just have such a story of redemption, truly. And um, I got to film that with a dream cast too. Like the, the cast I got to film it with is, they're like my family really in real life. So um, it was, a, yeah, I read all these books growing up and I can't believe I get to play my favorite character in the books. So it's exciting and it's coming soon. I know the fans are dying for this series and it's been so long, but it's, it's going to be worth the wait. It really, truly is. So um, one of the cast members is um, Roma Downey. What was it like to work yes. with her? Oh. Well, you know, Roma plays an angel in uh, Touched by an Angel, and we always joke, like, she really is a real-life angel. <laughs> like, um, I think the best thing about Roma is, you know, our set and our cast, it's kind of rare for it to be, like, go so seamless and there to be so much love, like, in every facet. I mean, it was just a dream cast, a dream set. And that really starts at the head. Like whoever is kind of driving the, the ship kind of determines that, that atmosphere. And Roma was that person. She just determined the atmosphere on set and what you know our relationship to each other would be and how close we all were. I really feel like that stemmed from her. And so, I mean, I, I remember I was at an event after I did a movie called I'm Not Ashamed. And um, it was a huge event. And I remember I saw Roma and I looked at my dad and I was like, man, it would be a dream just to meet her one day. Like, I wonder if I'm ever going to be able to meet her. And I couldn't get to her because hundreds of people were flocking to her to meet her. And I was like, you know, it's just, there's no way. And so literally about three years later, when I got this role and I found out she was playing my mom, I was like, what? So it was, it was a dream. She's amazing. I love that, that you can, um, you speak it. And God hears it. Oh my goodness. Yes, he really does. And it's like things you would never think possible. You're like, how in the world did you orchestrate that? And yeah. the timing, it's just wild. Yeah. yeah. What was your favorite part of the movie? Well, gosh. Okay. So we filmed three seasons. Um, there's too many favorite parts. <laughs> I think some of my favorite scenes are when we're all together as a family because you get to see everybody's personalities and the, the actors that play these roles embody these characters to a T. So you get, I mean, as a fan of Karen, I literally have to pinch myself sometimes because I'm looking around the dinner table, you know, in this scene and I'm like, you know, Josh, who's playing Luke actually is Luke. Like Allie, who's playing Carrie, like that is Carrie. So it's just, it was surreal to me, those scenes where I got to look around and be like, I am getting to live out these characters that I've seen in my head for so long. Um, so I think that was part of my favorite part was just constantly just feeling like I was living in the book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was, what was the hardest part? Um, the hardest part, I would say, was saying goodbye to everybody at the end. <laughs> The last scene that we filmed, we all kind of had this moment of season three where we looked around, you know, at each other and we just love each other so much. Like our characters love each other so much, but in real life we do too. And so I think, I mean, I know that sounds dumb, but that really to me was the hardest part was leaving each other at the end because we became like a family. Like we feel like the Baxter family. So um, that, I mean, it was it was an incredible set. Like I can't really even 
there's nothing I would say of like, oh, that was a terrible experience, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Well, um, let's shift a minute and talk about your faith. It's carried you through your career. And how can, yeah. you know, how do you stay strong in your faith while you're sharing the gospel in the midst of all these things that you're doing? Mm hmm. You know, I started in entertainment when I was about 15 years old, and my parents were really amazing with kind of guiding me in that. And they would always, you know, I was always able to read scripts and kind of exercise that discernment from a young age of like, okay, well, is this something I need to do? Or is this glorifying to God? Or is this like going to take me down a dark path? And so I think being able from the age of 15 to start to exercise that and muscle, it feels like a muscle of like discernment that you're constantly having to put before the Lord of like all these projects that you get put in front of you all the time. So that was very helpful. Um, but for me too, I think when you know your purpose, like if you truly have a mindset of eternity, like this life is so short. I mean, if you have, if you continue to put that into perspective, than saying no to projects or turning down things or not going certain paths that you see a lot of successful people going, it, it makes those decisions so much easier because if, you're, if your view is eternity, then your whole life you're looking to glorify God in. And, you know, with decisions, some of the best advice I've ever been given um, actually who from an actress was, you know, I make decisions on if I died tomorrow and had to stand before the Lord, would I be embarrassed? Like, would I feel, would I feel shame? And um, so I try to always, any decisions I make in film, I want to glorify God with. And like, it, that has to be the end game. It has to be, it can't be success. It can't be um, getting to the top because you can get to the top pretty quickly. You know what I mean? Like you can, you can do all the things, but at what cost? And um, I don't know, in my career, I have seen the Lord move mountains for me to do things. I have seen parts just, I mean, literally the Red Sea just part for me to be able to do something that I'm like, how in the world, except for by God, did I get to do that? I mean, Ashley Baxter being one of those things of like, I, I, I've known this character since I was 15 years old and somehow in the, you know, 10 years later, I'm getting to play her. Like that is only the Lord to me. And he just reminds me continually that he is the one that orchestrates my steps. And along the way, he's just teaching me obedience and how to glorify him. So it's a learning process and I'm still in it, but that's, that's the main goal. So what does the future of Macy look like? Oh gosh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I have a lot of dreams and aspirations and goals that I am working on every single day that I do want um, to make an impact with my life. And I do, I know the entertainment space is the space I'm supposed to be in. Um, so I'm excited to like, kind of, I guess, take the steps and charge forward. And um I feel like along the way, the Lord's just always reminding me to ask for wisdom and discernment because it's a constant, you know, it's just you, the entertainment world is just insane. So um, I would say the future looks like, I mean, I, I continually want to be in entertainment and, and do impactful projects um, like Karen's doing. Um, and also I, I love teaching. I love speaking. I love speaking to the next generation. I'm really passionate about um, seeing them become all that they're supposed to be for the kingdom of God. Um, I love music. I write music. I'm a songwriter and I, I'm starting to get to incorporate my music into TV and film, which has been kind of a lifelong dream as well. So yeah, all those spaces I'm just kind of working diligently on and then just seeing what God wants to do with it, I guess. I, I love the faith that you're walking in. So my last question to you would be, what do you want to leave this audience with today? Oh man, that's a good question. Um, I think I would want to leave them with kind of what I talked about at the beginning of, you know, keep that eternal mindset. Um, like in everything, every day, something a mentor told me once was 
Because, you know, like with the plans and dreams of your life, it can get overwhelming of like, what am I supposed to do? Or where am I supposed to go? Or how am I supposed to make an impact? And I had a mentor one time tell me, um, you know, every morning, just get up and ask the Lord, like, what is my assignment today? Like, what do you have for me to do today? How can I walk in obedience? How can I have a vision for the kingdom of God today? Not tomorrow, not next week, not five years from now. Like, what do you have today? And so when I've started to exercise that like mindset, I, I began to see like opportunities and just conversations I was supposed to have or people I was supposed to minister to all throughout the day because I was present with the Lord. I was, it's like that verse that says, stay in step with the spirit. And I, I think that's what I would want to leave people with is like, stay in step with the Holy spirit. And the kingdom of God is at work 24 seven. Like, I think one of the coolest things is, is that God just invites us to join in with that, with him every single day and watch him do just miraculous things. It'll blow your mind. Thank you for watching the call. We hope you learned more about Jesus through this video. You can have a relationship with Jesus. Just invite him into your life. Repent of your sins, ask for forgiveness, and make Jesus your Lord and Savior. Until next time, may the Lord be with you. For more information about this ministry, go to the call with nancysabato.com where we are leading you to Christ through stories and teaching.